Hello everyone, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com, host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth radio broadcast. I am bringing to you a little bit of information today about the, the free speech rally in UC Berkeley and today's date is April 27, 2017. As many people know, Ann Coulter was supposed to speak at UC Berkeley. However, the young Republicans had been sent threats and different issues about the free speech rally. And the police and the mayor and Berkeley themselves refused to guarantee the safety of individuals in the speech. So Ann Coulter pulled out of that um, situation for fear that maybe some of the people that were coming to see her would be harmed. However, other individuals, uh, a lot of the individuals that were going to the free speech rally, Lauren Southern, We Are Change, um, and other individuals have shown up, of course, in order to promote the free speech rally, and it has been going on for most of the day. What they were determined to show is they were determined to show that by threat they are not going to keep them silenced. Antifa over this past week has shut down several things such as parades and different things because of threat that they were going to show up and pull people out of parades in different situations like that. However, these individuals know that the worst thing that you can do is fold to someone who tells you that uh, by threat that you better not show up or this is going to happen. They're using threats of violence to try to stop freedom of speech. Well, that didn't quite work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a couple of uh, small clips Golden State Times has covered this live. We Are Change is covering this live. Shuttershot45 is covering this stuff live. Antifa did show up there, and I must say it is not like it was the last time. The police officers this time um, actually are standing in between and um, there's not a lot of violence going on. Most of it is actually free speech that is going on, which is a wonderful thing to see. However, on that note, I also want to say thank you to all of the individuals, whether it be Golden State Times, Shuttershot 45, We Are Change, Lauren Southern, and all of the other individuals that are over there on the front lines covering this footage. It is important to understand that the reason that everybody showed up, the reason people are still speaking out, is because we cannot allow our free, our free speech, no matter what side of the spectrum you're on, even speech that we don't agree with, to be shut down. Because then, once you allow that to happen, it'll just continue happening over and over and over again and I agree with one of the individuals had said that I will stand for somebody's um, free speech even if I don't agree with that speech and I fully agree with that statement the reason being is it's this simple if we allow somebody else's free speech to be stifled eventually it will come back to us so I'm going to share with you a short uh, clip and then I'm going to leave in the description box below, I'm going to leave the link of the full coverage of the uh, free speech rally UC Berkeley Antifa that has come off of Golden State Times. And the reason it's coming off of this one is because that's where I'm getting this small clip it of footage from. So if you want to see the entire um, video that they have uploaded, make sure to um, go to the link in the description box below and make sure to give them a thumbs up for this coverage. Covering stuff like this is not easy. So without further ado, let's listen to what they have to say at this rally. This country, we built the White House, we built Harvard University. Give us black Americans the respect where the respect is due. We are not Muslims. We are Americans. I want to thank all of you guys 
for coming together, coming out, and we have to continue to show up in forces to let these people know this is our country, our homeland, and they can't take it away from us. God bless America, and I love all of you. Amen. Woman's got some fire in her. Good job. <laughs> All right, everybody, I want you to give it up for Susan Walsh, ex-California Democrat who was enlightened by President Donald Trump. Susan Walsh, why don't you come up here and say a few words, please. Thank you. Just wanted to say I stand before you today as a former Democrat, someone who believes in libertarianism and tolerance, and someone who believes a woman can be anything a man can be, that everyone should pay their fair share. But what hit me as a tidal wave is what I learned that the leadership in my Democratic Party didn't believe like I believed. They have aligned themselves with anger, yeah. intolerance, yeah. and yeah. violence. Yeah. The Democratic Party has stepped into the wrong side of history. Yeah. And this is why yeah. I am here before you today. Because we have a chance to make history. We have a chance to make history or let this day disappear into a dustbin of history. Berkeley has made a name for itself as a leader in the anti-war freedom, peace, tolerance. Berkeley has since lost its way. Shame. shame. I have such shame, shame. for the mayor shame. aligning and colluding with a fascist organization like BAM. Shame on this mayor, promoting and condoning violence, organizations like Antifa and BAM. And shame on Berkeley for being on the wrong side of history this time. Now, now more than ever is the time to take a stand for freedom. Now is the time to stand and be counted among those who believe in freedom, in to tolerance, love, and promising future for our children. Now is the time to put freedom back in the hearts and minds of the American people. And now is the time to make America great again! USA! 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 To my fellow Democrats, because I know you're out there, the silent majority, I call for you to rise up against this bullshit here in Berkeley. Time has come. Thank you guys so much. Winning, hello, winning. Hey guys, you're live on InfoWars. You want to show some? Hey everybody, let's hear it for InfoWars. Let's thank InfoWars for red pilling the entire world. Thank you, InfoWars! <laughs> I'm new at this, so I have to read my speech off a of, off a of paper. So Pizza Gate is real. Stop getting in my way, guys. All right. So once again, thank you all for showing up today. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kyle Chapman. I'm also known as Bates Stickman, the Alt Knight. We are here today to exercise the freedoms established by the founding fathers in the Bill of Rights, specifically the freedom of speech and peaceful assembly. We are law-abiding Americans who care for the Constitution and rightful laws of our Republic. All we ask is to be able to assemble and speak as free citizens. 
The Constitution is a law of the land, not the Communist Manifesto. The heroes of our country are George Washington and Samuel Adams, not Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin. Antifa and BAM can take their communist propaganda home to their parents' basements. We are free men and women here! We recognize that the officers here are American as any of us. They do not want these neo-Marxists destroying their country or city any more than you or I do. Please thank every officer you see today for being on the right side of the law. <laughs> Guys, they have done a fantastic job today. Seriously, let's give it up for our peace officers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're, we, got, we got too much going on here, guys. Oh, come on. Okay. Guys, I'm literally on the ground um, trying to get you guys a good shot. So we want to let, let our officers know that we are with you. We are, we are for law and order, and until we restore law and order in this country, we cannot have the civil dialogue our founding fathers envisioned for us. Amen. However, it appears that law and order cannot be established, and we have entered into a new age of politics in which we will have to fight for our right to free speech and free assembly. Yep. The police are trying, but they clearly cannot protect us against this threat alone. Freedom requires responsibility. Free men and women are responsible for protecting their rights. No longer will we depend on the government to protect us or our rights. We will protect us and we will protect our rights. The free men and women of America will protect the rights of our citizens. The lines are drawn. It is time to decide whether you stand for free speech, the right to bear arms, the rule of law, and the republic of our forefathers. Or you stand with those who want to destroy our country and its traditions. For those of you who wish to stand for free speech, we must all unite. Conservatives, Republicans, Libertarians, Liberals, lovers of free speech, we all need to come together to fight the radical left. We must unite, guys. The infighting has inhibited our movement far too long. No matter what you call yourself, no matter where you come from, no matter what age you are, what race you are, what your sexual identity is, we need you to join us in this fight. Yeah. Berkeley has become the epicenter of this fight. Just days ago, when holding our free speech event, we experienced explosives thrown at us, yes. rocks, yes. glass bottles, yes. and other attacks. Yes. Berkeley College Republicans received threats of death and beheading on their own campuses. Once again, the neo-Marxist scourge have threatened violence against us for the simple act of speaking and have become successful in canceling the Ann Coulter event. This is an all too familiar occurrence at UC Berkeley and that is why we are here today and that is why President Trump needs to defund UC Berkeley. Not only has UC Berkey, Berkeley caved into this threat against its students repeatedly, but has fostered an environment for this radical ideology to flourish. Yvette Falarka, leader of BAM, the demonic little hobgoblin. 
Yvette Falarka frequences the campus, indoctrinating youth. BAM is permitted to organize on campus. BAM is a domestic terrorist organization, people. Antifa is a domestic terrorist organization, and the Trump organization needs to designate them as such. Professors are members of Antifa. Professors, Yvette Falarka is a fourth grade school teacher. They are attacking us. And they are, they are being employed by the UC Berkeley and the school systems. This is insane. They participate in domestic terrorist attacks. And this does not end at the edge of campus. This is spread to encompass the city as a whole. From, from many residents up to the mayor, Berkeley is ground zero for neo-Marxist ideology in America. Well, I say enough. Enough is enough. That's it. Until you permit us to peacefully assemble, there will be no end. We will return as many times as it takes to restore our freedoms. Not only does our movement have our sights trained on Berkeley, but now so does the nation. Through all legal measures available to us, we will see and put an end to this. Berkeley has attempted to shut down free speech. You see Berkeley has attempted to shut down free speech. But free speech will shut down Berkeley. Thank you guys, appreciate you. Okay, if you would like to hear more about the speeches that were held at UC Berkeley today, April 27, 2017, please don't forget, check the description box below. I want to thank Golden State Times for covering this live, as well as We Are Change, as well as Shuttershot45. Shout out to everybody who was able to get there and Thank you to each and every patriot and individual who went to UC Berkeley to speak out, to stand up, and refuse to allow Antifa to intimidate them and stop free speech. That is the latest news on what I have as of right this second. I may have further updates later on this evening. Keep checking back with me. If you like what you've heard, Please share the video as well as make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you want to get notifications of my YouTube channels, then you need to make sure to hit that little notification bell and subscribe to get notifications. Otherwise, you will not be let known when I upload a new video. Until next time, thank you. God bless you. Semper Fidelis. And as always, watch your backs and check your facts. Good night.